Alright. All, all the way up. Today, I'm actually going to introduce the newest, and I'm going to record me being recorded, which is a bit weird, but I want to introduce you, which is Alan, is the latest member of our team, and he is going to help make all of our production even better than it was. So, welcome Alan to the team. We are going to do some behind the scenes footage, which he's doing right now. We're going to go up to the rooftop. We're going to shoot some videos talking about certain topics. I'm going to help explain them for you guys, and then we'll break them down and we'll see how that looks. Expert secrets. And that's uh, Russell Brunson's expert secrets. And again, this guy's just dropping so much value. Well, I haven't finished it all yet. I'm still working through it. But so I just read it like that and I'm highlighting. And my wife's so funny. Like she took a picture of me reading. And she's like, you don't even read, you're studying. I'm like, well, actually, yeah, I am. Because I'm studying to get better. What's the purpose of all this? It's like, I'm stuck on a flight. I can be watching fucking Netflix like everyone else, or I could be fucking learning. What are you, most people are happy just watching Netflix. I don't want to watch Netflix. I want to fucking learn something. I want to get better, I want to develop my mindset, right? I can watch Netflix when I want to watch Netflix. I want to learn right now. If I'm in that zone and I'm feeling that, then that's what we're going to do. I'm telling my body, my mind what to do. It's not the other way around. Oh, I'm on a plane. So what, I'm sat first class on the plane, I'm relaxed, I can read. I'm not crammed in like this where I can't do anything but watch a, a screen. Because every time I'm watching that screen, I'm getting dumber, I'm not getting smarter. From reading a book, I'm getting smarter. Reframe the way you think, right? So there we go, this is like mountains, Big Bear, downtown, Palos Verdes, ocean. We're all living in the moment, brother. We're on the rooftop, we're thinking of ideas and kind of phrases and hooks on how it can land and resonate within 30 second period. So firstly is Puerto Rico. Are you thinking of moving to Puerto Rico? If so, stop right now. Before you move to Puerto Rico to save on taxes, stop right now. Here are the top three reasons why you do not need to move to Puerto Rico to save on taxes. Number one is the emotional cost on your family by uprooting them and moving out to Puerto Rico. Number two is the financial cost associated to relocating to a small tropical island. And number three is tax savings. I can show you how to save more money in mainland USA using complex trusts than you will ever save moving to Puerto Rico. If you want to find out more, click the follow button below. So we want people to realize that there's better alternatives in Puerto Rico, right? So Puerto Rico is simple because you go for 4% tax rate, 0% capital gains. Sounds fantastic, but on the flip side of that, you're stuck on an island. It's a small island, it's got terrible infrastructure, and people get island fever very quickly. So when you go visit for maybe a week or a couple of times a year, it seems like paradise, but when you're living there for a substantial period of time, you start getting the island fever, you want regular power, regular sewage, regular internet, none of that is there. So what we've helped do is help clients come from Puerto Rico back to mainland USA so they can be with their families and their friends. And these are all really wealthy people that are moving there in the first place just to save money on taxes. And there's better alternatives out there. You do not have to move to Puerto Rico to save money on taxes. I can show you exactly what you can do. And we've tried and tested this for many celebrities and many influencers and many regular wealthy people also that have moved from Puerto Rico back to mainland USA and saved just as much on taxes. What's up everyone? Welcome to the Behind the Scenes video. My name is Alan, I wanted to introduce myself. Vision X Media, got my guy, KC. We're filming content today. Let's go. It's gonna be amazing, see the results.
we're about to grab some lunch right now. We're cruising the streets of Beverly Hills. We've got a meeting with Bradley this afternoon. Super excited about what Brad's got to say and how we can impact more of his audience as well. So stay tuned and let's go. We're gonna make it fun along the way. So we've got the Ferrari out, we got the top down, the sun is shining. We're feeling blessed here in Beverly Hills. And we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some people real happy, right? Ultimately everything we do is gonna come from a lens of adding value. And the way we add value is helping people protect their assets and save money on taxes. So the more people we can help impact the more difference we make and we just do it in our own way so for us it's more with seven and eight figure business owners that we specialize in helping with what we do and we're just going to figure out how we can do that more efficiently and help more people in a quicker manner oh my goodness the sound of that ferrari just purring it just makes me feel so happy and it's like the sound I've always wanted to hear and own since I've been a little kid. Since I was a little boy in my room, had a poster of a Ferrari up on the wall and now I own one. It's, it's awesome. What, what's gonna make you feel different? And getting a toy like this made me feel different. Do I need it? Absolutely not. I got loads of other cars. I could buy different cars. Like it's not a matter of need. It's a matter of I wanted this because it ticked a box for me of being from when I was really young and meeting an objective, a lifelong objective of owning not just one exotic car, but a whole luxury stable of exotic and luxury cars because I've always loved cars. It's just been a passion of mine. There's no right or wrong here. It's like, what are you passionate about? And then how, how are you gonna work harder to create and achieve those goals because no one's going to give you it. No one's going to give you it. You've got to take what you want to take in a legal manner, of course. <laughs> a lot of shysters out there you've got to be wary of. But yeah, you, you've just got to take it. It's like work hard, offer more value, and the more value you create for people, the more money you'll make. The more money you make, the more fun stuff you can do with that. That's how it works. That's the game. Let me show you how to get in and out of a Ferrari. We're showing you how to get out of the Ferrari, right? So here's, here's the technique on how to get in and out of a Ferrari. So you gotta swivel out like this sideways, and then you put your hand down on the rail and you push up from the hand. And that way you don't put stress on your back. Now we're going to go smoke some cigars at the Grand Havana room private cigar lounge in Beverly Hills. I was Googling around because I wanted a place to go smoke cigars. My wife does not like me smoking cigars at home. So I needed a cigar lounge. This is the best cigar lounge in all of America. Most prestigious, you get all the celebrities here from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Jay-Z, everyone hangs out here, either at the New York location or right here in the Beverly Hills location. We have a private elevator and we have to have a special key to take you up. So right here is where you put the special key to get you up directly to the cigar lounge, the Grand Havana room. You good, you, you cold? Yeah, motherfucker, you come from the sweet country, man. Yeah, hey Daryl, how's it going? Happy birthday. How's it going, you good? How you doing, brother, you Fantastic, good? fantastic. Where you you're been back, after? You're back in How's town. it going, everyone? Back, huh? Yeah, back, just got back yesterday. There you go. This is the Cubidor in the Grand Havana room. So you can see all the amazing people that are members here. You can't name them all though, you've got to keep privately together. My locker is all the way at the top, and it's G6. So that means I just got to get a plane that is a G6. So it's a in the lounge in my locker. So I'm going to get some cigars out, something nice and mild for Alan. This one. And I like 
something on the stronger side. A little stronger for me. Good to go. Been a member since when? Uh, a couple of years now, so two years. Pre-COVID, joined, and I just love cigars. So. Let's smoke some.